I know there's something good hiding at the bottom. And I've got $3 million that I can spend trying to get down there. For now, we're just going to enjoy all of this food, which we're obviously going to feed to other food. So it comes up, gets fed to other food, we make money. There's another $120,000. Also, let's upgrade our depth. It's always good to go a little deeper. We can even do that twice, so we're going to get all sorts of new, better stuff. We're down to tacos and tomatoes, which is a weird combination. But when we're feeding it to other food anyway, what does it matter? My mistake, it was an apple. An apple who's been thinking a lot about game design lately. Apples don't think. Or talk. Or waste my time. Now that we got that exciting conversation out of the way, we're going to continue to catch crap and make money. All we need is a little over $2 million for the next depth upgrade and I will take the potion. Because that of course makes our happy house fly. And then we get to go fishing with the house itself for emeralds. That was worth $400,000 all by itself. And because I just watched that, we get to do this several more times. We're going to go fishing with the house instead because that makes sense, but it's the easiest money in the world. Oh, we got a level up reward. It's a taco in a car. Just what I've always wanted. Get back down there. And we've got a treasure chest. Here's four capacity boosts. So now we can hold more stuff on every cast. Which may combine with my flying house fishing. So I get more emeralds and wood for extra extra money. I don't know what's worth more the wood or the emerald. But we're just going to catch a little bit of everything. So thanks to that extra capacity, we can make a lot more money per cast. Even if we're catching just this stuff. But since we have the extra capacity, let's use it on the flying house. That just makes more sense, I think. Because we can get a bunch of wood. We're going deeper for more wood. Does that make sense? It doesn't matter. That's going to be $700,000. Still got one capacity boost left, plus one house fishing thing, so we're just going to do that. I have no idea what's actually going on, but I'm just going to enjoy the ride. Because that's just easy money. We still have $4.7 million, so we can go a little bit deeper and a little bit deeper again. That means all of our upgrades are at max, so let's send the house back down. I don't know if this goes deeper, but there are sapphires now. Kind of forgot we had other things going on. Our offline earnings are ready, so we can do whatever this is. Uh, we'll make you a bunch of money here, and I think we have to put all these together. That's right, I remember now. Okay, so we've... Uh, uh, increase the value of our food temporarily so everything we do now is going to make us extra money so we can get lots of level one foods especially as it's auto collecting so we're just going to let these go ahead and gather up because i really need to be able to combine this little milk thing with something else He's a very lonely milk. And thanks to an ad, I've got an extra cat also helping me fish. So we're just going to keep collecting up everything we can. We need to make a fortune. My auto combiner is also uh, off now and that's fine because I kind of like doing it manually. There's something strangely satisfying about that. And we can combine the donuts and the peas and the milk finally. Can I ask you a question? No, your food. I've also turned auto merge on for a minute. So now we're going to buy a whole bunch of foods because we have all of that money. And we can get an extra cat for five whole minutes. So now we've got three cats fishing for us. And I'm going to continue to click on this because we need everything to get merged. I still don't really know what it is I'm doing, but I'm just enjoying the satisfying mechanics. We've only been at this for a couple minutes, but we're already making so much more money than we were a minute ago. And I really like that because we have three cats fishing for double value. You. We're going to start running out of room with things to combine at this point. But we got another milk already. And we've quickly saved up a whole bunch more money, which means we can do things like this. And we've almost got another milk. I think we'll be able to after we combine all of these into something better. And a small little add later. And we've got all of this going on. So we put those together. That makes another P. So then we just need more of these. And I think we'll be able to see what's past the takeout food. Starting to realize just how many of these things you need to combine to get any real results though. Like you've got to combine forever. But there's two milks which turns into two takeouts which turns into a broccoli i don't care about the broccoli i just want the monetary reward did you know you can hold down the buy buttons to quickly buy food i did not that's very helpful that's the best thing broccoli has ever done for me so according to the green thing if i go like this yeah i can just buy as many of these as i want and then i can just slowly combine them into popcorn because gingerbread men naturally evolve into popcorn over time that's just kind of the circle of life. Which means I've already made another milk and I'm out of money again. But this is going to get expensive quickly so I might just have to leave all this stuff to its own business. So we'll just go back to literally fishing with the house. While catching wood presumably to build more houses. And to get to island 2 we need two more foods to unlock this. Where do we find more foods? Uh, Maybe over here where we can invest some of our money in having more food eat more food. Because I'm pretty sure every time we touch one of these upgrades uh, yeah we potentially get extra population we get extra value but the respawn time is quicker too so spending money makes us more money so we have burgers eating fries and then we have i think bowls of rice eating burgers but we're gonna add another one of them i've taken a minute to unlock peaches they're getting the 8,000 for bowl of rice that compares to the basic fries which is four but we've also hit level 16 thanks to our earnings so we're now about to unlock something new again which is a cinnamon bun which is going to eat the peaches they're getting 262,000 per peach so we're going to go ahead and level that up right away that's going to add an extra cinnamon bun to eat other food so 262,000 
per one. So we're going to level up very quickly there, which means we can afford to upgrade this old thing, though I'm not even sure if it's worth it anymore. I mean, they're getting 16,000 per bull. So I'm going to wait because we're almost at 26 million. Then we're going to upgrade this guy. So we're going to get extra value. So then they're worth 524,000 per peach, which means we could probably afford to upgrade the rice. And I just realized they're mangoes. It tells me right there what they are. And we just need to be level 21 to reach the next level. Then I'm going to take fancy double earnings for a minute. That's going to help us earn some extra money and level up quicker so we can unlock another food. So what does max level rice look like? That's what it looks like. And it's going to be $104 million to upgrade the cinnamon buns again. But we're definitely going to do that because that pays for itself very quickly. The things are going to respawn faster and we get an extra cinnamon bun. And we've already got enough to unlock the next one, which is a Moki. I have no idea what that is, but it's getting 16 million per cinnamon bun. And we've made ourselves a billionaire in food. So if we upgrade this, we're going to get a second Moki. And we still have a lot of levels to go, so we've got a lot of foods to unlock. But that's okay. Upgrades only cost a billion dollars each right now, and the next one's going to be three billion. I guess that's why it's good, though. We're getting $33 million per bun. So we're going to upgrade this one more time to get an extra bun, and then we're going to go back to see our new fishing level. Uh, unless we need two more foods to unlock... So how do we get two more foods? Aren't we at maximum depth? So I guess I'm just going to continue fishing, hopefully finding something new along the way. But we did get a treasure chest. Maybe that's going to be of help. Oh, that's new. It's an orange. So the orange is a delightful uh, little friend. And apparently we've maxed out the island because the orange is worth two foods. Whatever the case, we're going to a new island to get started. So let's see what's down below when we go fishing with a cat head this time to eat lots of pizza. Everyone likes pizza, so this is a good island already. And let's see what this idiot has to say. Oh man, I was having the worst nightmare. Thanks for waking me up. You were sleeping? Well, yeah. With open eyes? Can't close my eyes because I don't have eyelids. That's weird. This is weird pizza. And what kind of value are we getting here? We have a capacity boost, so we're getting 8 per click. And that was worth... We're gonna feed pizza to pizza. $1,800. What if we go fishing with the house? Does this make a difference? Do we get to go deeper? Oh, we get the sapphires now at least. That's worth 1600 so it's actually less. We'll give ourselves a little extra depth. If only it was really that easy. Oh, a shovel. And then we're getting all sorts of new foods again, which we're gonna have to listen to. We got apple slices. Oh, we don't have to listen to apple slices though. They're as boring in the game as they are in real life. So let's increase our capacity and then we can make more money. And then we'll get a little more depth again to find out what's lurking down there at the bottom because there's got to be something good. So we're now into the rice again and the rice probably wants to talk. Hopefully it's valuable. Someone didn't like my puns so they put chopsticks in my brain. That is a good cure for it. No, no. He's got a point. We should implement that in real life. Could have seen that coming. The penalty for puns is now a lobotomy. I don't even care if they're good puns. You're getting a lobotomy. Also, let's increase our capacity and open this chest. For a capacity boost. So now we're going to make lots of money. Because we can pull up this many things. Wow, we can pull up just about everything. It's hard to even fill it. But that value, $6,200. And I get to do this again, where we get to reveal treasure. Those capacity boosts are actually so big that I don't think I can even properly use it. We caught a cat. Why is there a cat down there? I guess we're fishing with the head of a cat, so it shouldn't be a great surprise. It looks traumatized. We should feed it to pizza. So because of that cat, we have a new island somewhere, which is a tower. Uh, so we just have a... Don't throw me in the air again. Don't tempt me. What did I do to deserve this? I need to get my mind off this. Let's go fishing. Well... There's a cat going fishing. What is this? Uh, like a kiwi and a strawberry? Story? I'm here to fish, not listen. So it's the story of Skip. And then um, in 15 minutes, we get part two of the story. I don't think I can actually fish here yet. I'm just going to go back to fishing for a little bit. We're going to use our massive capacity to catch a whole bunch of money. But there's extra depth. So that means I can maybe actually start to fill up my capacity with cake. And got to catch everything along the way on the way up. I wish you could catch cake slices in the ocean. Life would be so much easier that way. The cake is great news. This game has a dialogue editor. You can make it say anything. That's too much power for someone like me. Do you want to see the editor? No, we probably shouldn't go down that road. And it forces you to buy upgrades, so we're gonna have to buy depth before we get to go fishing again. And I guess that's fine. We've got like lasagna or something. Lasagna is always good. I'm sure that's gonna be worth even more again. Lasagna, I didn't see its value. Its true value is in its wisdom though, which we're gonna skip right through because I'm already wise enough. We just need more food. So a regular cast right now catching a variety of everything is going to be worth $6,700. But if we go house fishing for sapphires, do we get more than $6,700? Look at all the sapphires we can get too. That's gotta be worth a few dollars. Is it? 
9,000. It's worth a little bit more, but not a ton. But every time you get your potion, I guess we're just going to use it because why wouldn't we? It's just easier money. And there's probably some other benefit to this that I don't understand yet. Oh, we did get a level up reward though. It's a lasagna with a car. So I'm really glad we got that now. I can see how this is going to get busy though because I want to go back to checking all my merges now because I assume they're very much done. So we're going to put these together, which merges with that, which merges with that, which merges with that. So as soon as we get another takeout, we'll get another broccoli, which will turn into something else. But also we can maybe get close to getting there because we have all of these guys now, which turn into that, which turn into that, which turn into that, which is just going to sit here and wait for a while. So then we'll check back in on our farm for a moment. It doesn't seem to run very fast in the background. And I really don't think it's worth upgrading anything less than a cinnamon bun because they're making 33 million per bun. Uh, the mangoes are only making 524,000. If we upgrade, we're going to get extra value out of them, I guess. So... Let's do that. That's a cheap enough upgrade and we'll make them quicker. You know what? I've changed my mind entirely that quickly. Fully upgraded. Because now they're making $1 million per mango, but look how many we're getting. They're not as much as the cinnamon buns, but they're actually reasonably close. I've doubled speed for a minute. We're also going to upgrade this. So that's going to make things respawn quicker and give me an extra moki, whatever it was, so I can eat things quicker. So now $33 million per bun and they're going to be eaten very quickly. Look at all that money we're getting. We made $7.5 billion already, which means we've already got enough for the next upgrade. So that's going to double the value of them. So they're now worth $67 million per and then we get to unlock whatever's next. So it should be even more valuable. Uh, kiwi. They're worth about 15 times with the cinnamon buns were at $1 billion each. $1 billion each. And so we're going to add a second kiwi to help us mine. And I doubled the value for a minute and then zoned out for a second. Before you know it, we have almost a trillion dollars. We got 600 billion. So we're going to buy a few upgrades. That's going to add the value of those to $2 billion each. We're going to add another one of those. Now they're going to respond faster. So now we're making $2 billion per moki and they're going that quick. So we just spent all of our money, but we're already back up to $600 billion or $700 billion, soon to be a trillion. So $1 trillion. So we're going to upgrade these one more time to double the value again. They're now worth $4 billion each. An official $1 trillion upgrade means things respawn quicker and we get an extra kiwi to eat things. So that just means super consistent high speed value. And that in turn means we're going to hit level 31 and then we're going to unlock the orange. The orange eats the kiwi. The natural progression of life. These are worth $68 billion per one. Then a $6 trillion upgrade doubles their value, so they're now worth $140 billion each. So that's going to help me be able to upgrade these. They're going to respawn faster and there's more of them. You get the idea. More value means more value. And the next upgrade is simply going to add another orange, uh, but that's certainly going to add a lot of value. Even these upgrades now are 13 trillion, but this is the top upgrade. So those things are going to respawn almost instantly. And then we got a little boost, which is going to make food respawn absolutely instantly. So look at all that value. 27 trillion dollars. Now things are going to respawn faster and I get an extra kiwi. Orange. And we're closing in on the next level very quickly. We're also going to double the value of these. So they're now worth 275 billion dollars per one. Basically, four of them makes over a trillion dollars and we're mining them pretty quickly, which made us hit the next level. So we're going to upgrade these one more time. Then we're going to unlock whatever's next. So it's pizza eating oranges. And for every orange we eat, we get $4 trillion. So we're definitely going to add a second pizza because they're uh, insta respawning right now. So we're definitely going to upgrade these as quick as we can. Now they're worth $8 trillion each. And that gave us a nice little boost. So let's gonna, we're going to add a third pizza and we're just going to leave them to work for a while. This is also busy. We had to go back to the merge already to make sure these guys are doing what they're supposed to be doing. Keep forgetting this one doesn't really run in the background. So I need to be here babysitting in it whenever I wanted to actually do something, which is kind of good because it's very satisfying at the same time. But my things are making me lots of money. I think that's probably because we added the broccoli. The broccoli by itself is probably worth a ton. And now we have three cats for a few minutes. Uh, maybe not for a few minutes, but we have a few cats for now. So we'll enjoy those. So let's see if we can use all these to find out what's past broccoli. So that turns into that, which turns into that. We'll put these two together so we get another pea. Which turns into the milk, another takeout, two broccolis turn into... Actually, I want to see the increase in value too. So right now we're getting about 9,000 per cast and we get a big reward there. But now that we have the ice cream, we're getting 13,000 per cast, a little more. And we haven't even replenished all of our stuff yet. That was satisfying. Now let's go back to fishing. Hopefully catching some beautiful stuff along the way. Just going to keep casting, gathering up that money. Very quickly, we, we fished for the same stuff to mine up $108,000. So now we're going deeper and we're getting cheese. Cheese hides at the bottom of the ocean, naturally. Now, they call it a cheese slice. I'm not sure I'd agree that's a slice. That's like a cheese wedge or chunk. I'm not sure of the technical definition, but I'm pretty sure a slice has to be thin. 
Feel free to argue about that in the comments down below. Anyways, our cast right now are getting us about $15,000 per cast. And we're going to increase the capacity as soon as we can because I want more money because I'm greedy. We're almost ready to open our treasure chest again too. But at $15,000 per cast, it's going to take us a minute to get our next upgrades. Almost to our next depth upgrade, but we got our treasure chest, which is going to give us capacity for more money, which will get us there quicker. So the capacity increase gave us about twice as much money per cast, and that's considerable. I should probably use this capacity boost on the house fishing too. The capacity Capacity boost brings us up to 24. Yep, we bring it with us for sure. So this will hopefully be a lot of value because we got a lot of sapphires there. $65,000 for a single cast. Let's go deeper. There's a treasure chest and the Moki things. I'm just going to call them jelly beans because I don't want to remember that word. Hi there. Hello. Are you having fun? This game sucks. Say that to my face. This game sucks. You're mean, but you're back going to go cry forever. Yeah, I'm going to feed you to other food, so your opinion is not relevant. Disclaimer, this game doesn't suck. It's actually kind of addicting. Especially when you're trying to make it all the way to the bottom. Look how expensive the upgrades get, though. Level 7 is going to be $388,000. I'm getting like $20,000 per cast, if that. Okay, I may be making closer to $30,000 per cast, but y you get the idea. It's a lot of casts to make any money. But we got house fishing again which can obviously make us some money. Probably should have got a capacity boost first, but whatever. Ooh, what are these things? Those are new. That's got to be worth some money. That was $38,000 for that. There's $28,000, which gave us some, uh, what we needed for extra depth. Now we're into, I think, brownies? Chocolate? I don't know what that is. We're going to find out right now. Chocolate, which probably is worth quite a bit. We're going to find out after this cast. We went from about $30,000 a cast to I think 55 it's kind of hard to see because dick was in my way so we're gonna dig you you and you well we got a santa hat and two big capacity boosts so we might as well put that to use so catching everything we can preferably mostly the deeper stuff obviously we're gonna make a lot of money wow I barely even filled my capacity on that cast but we got the portals now too, so that's worth $166,000. Should probably use portals more because look at that value. Plus we got a few more good capacity boosts, uh, so it's going to be hard just to fill this hook. Come on, grab everything we can. There we go. Through the portals. I think that doubles it. So there's $180,000. More depth. Then we'll go way down here. Now we're getting yogurt? Pudding? I don't know what it is. The food has no really order that I can discern. And I didn't really see the value of that, but I assume it was a lot. So... So let's increase our capacity and then we're going to go house fishing, hopefully for something incredibly valuable that's also also doubled. Sapphires and the brown things. Then some wood also. What's this going to be worth? Through the portal and $275,000. That's definitely pretty good. I did see the new food down below somewhere. I didn't see what it was though, but we'll get there eventually. One more cast I think is going to bring us to greater depths because it's going to be worth... $387,000 more depth and that means we're going to catch chocolate rabbits or maybe just regular rabbits. Is there such thing as regular rabbits? Okay we now have chocolate bunnies at least so we're going to catch as many of those as we can. I feel like they're very easy to catch but they're also very valuable because that's $66,000 with no bonuses at all. So it only took a few casts to be able to afford the next depth and we're going to go past chocolate rabbits into the kiwis. Kiwis and chocolate rabbits are a great combination, by the way. And it's got something to tell us, Skip. Okay, I got another portal set up, so we're gonna catch, I think, cinder blocks. I don't know why cinder blocks are worth more than sapphires, but I won't question it. We're playing a game where food eats food. That was worth 192,000. I think it's maybe more worth it just to go below. Kiwis and chocolate rabbits are worth 160,000, so we're better off fishing here, but we're gonna open a treasure chest also. So between these two, then, there's a shovel. We should make a lot of money on these next few casts, which will hopefully get me more upgrades. This one was worth a total of $434,000. few more of those, please. It only took one more cast to get extra depth, so I've got two more casts. Plus, we're going to catch something new on this one. We're down to cookies. We need lots of cookies plus a new treasure chest. I'm getting very greedy by this. But we're going to make a lot of money there. Didn't see what it was, but it was a lot. So basically, one cast was enough to get the next upgrade all by itself, which is pretty crazy because that makes it so much easier. So much less waiting overall. But the actual value was $437,000 more depth. I meant to fish, not zoom in on the petrified lasagna driving the car, but we're down to milk. Everyone loves milk. And for basic milk casts, we're getting $80,000 now. We started it at like a few thousand. And so far we've collected 13 of the 30 foods we need here to unlock the next island. So let's go back to the offline rewards for here because I just want to merge things together and then we're going to leave again. Actually, we're going to buy those two and then we're going to leave because I think it'll make more value if it's here by itself just doing this. I also forgot about this tower. Um, 
So something happened to the strawberry along the way where it started to like mold or rot. I don't really care what it was, that's its problem. But we're allowed to fish here again to catch another layer of the story. We can see what the bread wants, but also not really. And in orange, I care so much about your story, please tell me. Right, and were the farms doing anything while I was away? It looks like it, because we're up to 500 trillion dollars. Though that's not nearly as much as you might think. But then again, we are up to one uh, quadrillion dollars as of 10 seconds from now. So we can upgrade the oranges. That's going to make them respawn quicker and also throw an extra pizza down there to eat them. So that value is very, very high per second. And we'll upgrade the kiwi some more because it's actually reasonably cheap in comparison. I zoned out for a second and before you know it, three quadrillion dollar upgrade done. We've also value, doubled the value of these, so seven tr 17 trillion dollars per orange, just like in real life. That definitely also makes the upgrades for the prior food much easier to get. Now these ones are going to basically be instantly spawning. Uh, they're getting 274 billion dollars per one, which isn't as good, but that's still going to add up to value. And we can get our next orange upgrade. That's going to take the respawn time down by like half and add another pizza so that basically doubled the earnings for this one and that's allowed us to unlock whatever's next uh i just need a boost so now our food is going to instantly spawn and we've got yogurt and that's going to eat the pizza for 28 trillion dollars each so we're definitely going to upgrade that right away and we can just pretty much wait in real time for the next one to show up so now they're getting 562 trillion dollars per pizza look how many pizzas they're touching it's more pizza than i touch in real life now look at those earnings they're getting super value and they're burning around we're going to throw an extra one of those down just to get the extra value we're gonna sit here and enjoy it for a second but there's the next upgrade again so we've doubled the value of those they're now worth one quadrillion dollars per pizza oh i might as well get the top upgrade for these guys too because we can afford it quite easily 450 quadrillion dollars why not we can already unlock the next one these bonuses really make a big difference. So thanks to the takeout thing, we're now making 18 quadrillion dollars per yogurt. And we can already upgrade it, so yeah. This is B, but it's not billion. That's quintillion. One quintillion dollars. But these are now going to make 36 quadrillion dollars. This game just knows I can't resist the big numbers and clickers. We hardly even need to up a level up the yogurt to unlock the next one. But I know the levels are going to get longer, so we're going to add extra population, and then we're going to cut the respawn time down. I think this is definitely my favorite version of any of the games on here right now, because it's just so satisfying to watch them collect all that value. And we're going to double down again. Now that those are going, look at all that value cruising along, and we're going to double the value of these, so we just basically doubled our income. So we're making like a quadrillion dollars a second. Sorry, a quintillion dollars a second, which is a lot. That's a macaroon. So we're going to go ahead and throw another one of those down. Those are earning me one quintillion dollars per one of those so we're making like 10 quintillion dollars a second right now then i just added another booster so now we're getting even more we're going to double the value of those so there were two quintillion dollars per click per thing okay and i've also activated instant spawn so we're going to uh well, we're basically going to double the value of these again right now. So now they're worth four quintillion dollars each and they're respawning instantly and we've got a lot of them being eaten at any one time. We're basically already to level 56 because we're just doing this in super fast mode. So the next upgrade is three sextillion dollars. We're going to go ahead and buy that and then we're going to double movement speed. And that has burned us along very quickly to unlock whatever's next, which is going to be an avocado, which is going to eat the macaroons and they're going to give me almost a sextillion dollar per macaroon as it is especially once we upgrade it a few times with all the boosters i had going on i was basically just clicking the upgrades in real time uh they're worth a lot of money but we're basically making a sextillion dollars every couple seconds all by forcing food to eat other food in hilarious cannibalistic action but i think i need to pull myself away otherwise i'm never gonna stop and this is gonna implode 